video uh, i'm going to tell you how to get the processes running uh, on your system and all uh, the details of the services which are running on your system instead of uh, we have a simple method uh, which we usually do is by opening task manager and then uh, getting the details of the services and the processes which are running on your system but instead of uh, doing this uh, uh, manual method we can just type a simple command here uh, in powershell that is get service so by typing this command or by using this command you will get the all of the services running on your system as you can see it gives uh, the details of the status of the service name of the service display name and a lot of the other details now uh, if you are if i want to get the processes detail then i have to just simply type uh, get process and here you will get the process all of the processes running on your system right now it is giving the details of all the processes running on my system and uh, it will give you the details on the handles uh, cpu usage process id process name and lot of other details and uh, which you can uh, use uh, for uh, your purpose now this is a uh, this is all about the process and uh, services uh, so, uh, if you want uh, suppose if you want to get the output uh, of the services or processes on uh, not on the uh, console but uh, on a text file then what you will do i'm going to tell you um, how to do it uh, basically there are three methods for this uh, so let's uh, see the first method first method is suppose i want to get the process details on a text file then what i will do i'll just use this uh, simple double arrow and uh, then i will give the path uh, where uh, i want my um, process giving the path and I, I want to display it on my uh, desktop so what I will do I will give the desktop path and uh, the text file name suppose I am giving it the name of uh, process.txt now oops what happened okay I think yeah there is a space in the name so yes put it into uh, commas double quotes between, uh, between the double quotes now it will work and you can see here that this process file has been created you can see it yeah. and it has given me the details of all the processes running on my system the second uh, process is let's clear it clear the console so i'm going to clear it by typing cls this is also a command and uh, you can also there's one more command which is called clear host also it will do the same thing uh, the second process is uh, just uh, uh, is like pipelining uh, all of the output get process output um, um, uh, and pipelining the output, uh, pipelining all of the uh, output, and then um, using the command uh, out file, and then typing the address, uh, and then typing the address of the text file. And uh, suppose I'm giving it uh, the text file name as process one. So you can see uh, there's uh, process one also. Uh, but there is uh, one thing you can see that. Uh, this command is not giving anything on the console it is only giving uh, the output on the text file what if you want uh, to see the output on the console as well as powershell uh, sorry on the text file so we have uh, one more command for that and that is uh, um, t object file path and here oh I'm sorry and I didn't give any other name for it I'm giving it to 
as you can see on the on my screen here.